It's very rare to come across the perfect game, or anything close to perfect I should say, with only a few coming to mind in recent years. Bioshock, Half-Life, Mad Max, Halo 3, just to name a few. These games have burned themselves into my memory as some of the most fun I've ever had while playing video games, each for their own reasons, and Proteus has become one of those games that will stick with me forever. It's not often I'll give a game a 10 out of 10 rating, but Proteus has secured that spot and I urge you all to play this fast-paced, gory, indie first-person shooter so you can experience this masterpiece. This game basically has infinite replayability because of its community hub, where you can play an endless amount of community-made maps and challenges. You can practice speedrunning all the levels, discover all the secrets, perfect all the challenges. They've added four-player co-op so you can get all your friends together and play through the campaign. There's a very in-depth level editor that lets you create some very unique maps, and they've even added a multiplayer PvP to try out. It is very rare to find a game like Proteus these days, and I promise you it's a AAA experience delivered by an indie studio. So I want to tell you why I think this game is so good, and I'm going to do my best not to spoil any major points in the game. If you enjoy hearing about upcoming indie games, make sure to subscribe because I have plenty more videos like this coming in the future. I've recently changed my content to focus more on reviewing games and introducing everyone to some of the best indie games out there, and YouTube has been just killing me lately, dude. So I really do appreciate the support. Anyway, Anyway, on with the video. So Proteus has just exited Early Access and entered its full release on PC, Xbox and PlayStation with Nintendo Switch coming soon and a lot has changed from its Early Access version. But I'm not here to talk about what it was, I'm here to talk about what it is. In typical boomer shooter fashion, there isn't much to the story. Without spoiling anything, you're a dude that goes around killing monsters with a huge arsenal of weapons and upgrades. The campaign is lengthy depending on how you like to play and if you like to spend time looking for secrets. So the entire runtime of the campaign is up to you, I guess. But there is plenty of content here that is going to keep you engaged for hours. The missions aren't designed to be like super complicated or annoying. And I found myself never getting bored, even though you're essentially doing the same thing each level enter level, kill everything, do this, do that, exit. Do I know why I'm shooting these crystals to open up different parts of this map? No way, not this time. Do I know why these guys hate each other? Oh shit, a spot! Of course not, and I don't care because Proteus shines in keeping you engaged with its gameplay and just how fun it is to turn everything on your screen to mush. Speaking of which, The main selling point to Proteus for me was its mechanics and the almost sandbox-like nature the game lets you take when it comes to fighting. It doesn't lock you into a certain playstyle, it's not forcing you to micromanage all your resources and target weak points on enemies. It's as simple as, use big gun, monsters die. It's not overstimulating with a million different ways to deal with threats or flooding my screen with UI and making me dodge a million different projectiles as well as level platforming. All of those things are fine if that's your style of game of course, but Proteus doesn't need all of that to make it feel rewarding. Every gun in your huge arsenal is satisfying to use and you can choose to basically only use a couple of them if you wish, although I do recommend taking advantage of all the weapons you're given by utilizing quick switching to get quick, really high bursts of damage. Not to mention it's so goddamn satisfying hitting enemies with like a triple burst pistol, shotgun combo, or the shotgun to super shotgun combo. Change weapons regularly. Trust me, it makes the game so much more fun. Each weapon also has a primary and secondary fire, which is pretty standard in this genre of game. So for example, your super shotgun secondary fire shoots all four shells at once for an insane amount of damage. Your plasma rifle fires a dart that allows your projectiles to home in on the target. The rocket launcher has remote detonation, yada yada yada. I won't spoil anymore. And like I said just before, these secondary fires only add more to your already huge list of weapons and it makes for some really fun experimentation with combos. And I personally really love timing my reload so I'm never caught off guard. Reloading in Proteus has been a hot topic since day one for some reason. Sure, no reloading would be cool. I'd probably welcome it, but I personally think it's not a huge deal and I don't feel like it takes away from the combat at all. If anything, it adds more player engagement by making you manage it so you're not caught out reloading when fighting something powerful. The only real problem I have with Proteus is its shop. 
This was introduced in its full release and the way it works is that you have to find these bits of ore that are used as currency that are scattered around each level which allows you to purchase weapons and upgrades from the store. The reason I don't like it is because not everyone wants to spend their time finding these ore pieces which are often very difficult to find. So for people with no patience you'll find yourself being, like, I don't, I don't want to say underpowered but you'll definitely lack some oomph in your loadout if you aren't collecting the ore and purchasing weapons and upgrades, especially movement upgrades like the dash and double jump. But the game is still very playable without it, don't get me mistaken. It's not like you're gonna die all the time because of it, but yeah, I think it's kind of a weird feature, not a huge problem, but I definitely could have done without it. To wrap up this section about gameplay, there's plenty of accessibility options and the difficulty settings are very well balanced in my opinion. If you're familiar with shooters like this, I'd recommend starting on hard and working your way up. I personally found hard to be the perfect difficulty setting because like I said a game doesn't need to be ball bustingly difficult in order for me to enjoy it. Proteus has one of the most unique art styles I've seen in a first person shooter. All of the sprites are absolutely gorgeous to watch and you can even change the graphical settings to 3D models if you wish, which are also fantastic. But I prefer the sprites, makes the game feel more punchy and old school. The level design of Proteus is something very unique as well, even with its pixelated spritey art style, the game looks absolutely breathtaking in some areas. Vibrant saturated colours mixed with like the dead grey tones, gives off a modern industrial vibe with an old old school feel to it with its tight narrow spaces and vast open arenas that are perfect to fight in. Traversing through these levels is a breeze and a joy. I never felt lost, the secrets were challenging to find, the enemy placement was very sneaky and strategic. I never felt cornered or claustrophobic either or like I couldn't fight my way out of a situation because of some bullshit level design. It is, in my opinion, great level design when a game can make you feel this way while in combat. You'd think that with all this blood going everywhere that it would be difficult to see and would get you killed sometimes but that's not the case at all. There is a lot of blood in this game but I never had trouble fighting because it was in my way or anything. The amount of blood is just absurd, it's ridiculous and over the top of course but that adds to its charm and appeal to a lot of people, myself included. That's probably one of the first things people will tell you about Proteus is that you turn people to mush and paint the walls red with their blood. Now what kind of boomer shooter would it be without a metal soundtrack behind it? Produced by none other than the man himself, Andrew Holsholt, who was responsible for Doom Eternal's DLC tunes, Dusk and a Medieval soundtrack, Proteus's music goes fucking in, dude. It's got a mix of some sort of metal, industrial drones and synths when out of combat, and when shit hits the fan, well, man, I'll just let it speak for itself. And the music doesn't overpower the other elements of the game either. Even with the metal blasting my eardrums, I can still hear every crunch and splatter like I'm mixing up a bunch of bones and macaroni and cheese. The guns are punchy, the reload sounds are satisfying and every enemy has a unique sound. I really can't sing higher praise to this game. I know it might not be everyone's cup of tea and that's completely fine. Some people might be after a boomer shooter that has more challenge and reliance on resource management and player accountability, but that's not what I want from Proteus. Proteus is perfect being its own game and we shouldn't compare it to anything else nor wish for it to be different. I think a lot of YouTuber game reviewers don't review a game for what it is, they review a game for what they want it to be. Which is a fundamentally flawed way of thinking because that makes it even more difficult to remove personal bias from your review. Anyway, I highly recommend Proteus if you're into this style of shooter. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, it really does help the channel and I'll see you in the next one.